Welcome to another Monash Chemistry video tutorial and in this one we're going to use the Rydberg equation to determine the emission spectra of one electron systems. We can use this piece of algebra to determine the wavelength of the light that's emitted when an electron jumps between different energy levels. In the 19th century it was, it was observed that for hydrogen and also for a number of other elements that emission lines were observed that is very specific frequencies of radiation were emitted from the excited atoms. At this stage quantum mechanics was still uh, not very well understood but this observation assisted in developing the way we understand atoms today. For the atomic spectrum of hydrogen we can observe a number of series of different lines and this ultimately corresponds to electron transitions or electronic transitions all coming down to a common value for n. This is the principal quantum number n. There's the Lyman series, the Barmer series, the Passion series, Bracket series and Fun series. Rydberg developed an equation which allowed the calculation of the wavelength corresponding to any given transition. You can see the equation there and Ni and Nf are the initial and final energy levels. R is a constant, it's the Rydberg constant. And so we can use this equation to determine both the wavelength or the frequency and thus the energy for this transition as long as we know what the starting and what the finishing energy levels are. Starting with the Rydberg equation subbing the values in. Remember, if you get questions like this in the exam, the values for constants are always given. You're really not expected to memorise these kinds of values. What's most important is that you know how to use the formulas. and that you don't make mistakes like I just did. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. Sub your values into the equation. Plug this into your calculator and you should get a value something like this. 7.5 to the power of 5 meters to the minus 1. Notice that this is 1 on lambda and what we really want to calculate is lambda or the wavelength. So invert this value in your calculator and you should get a number which looks something like this. Lambda equals 1.28 times 10 to the minus 6 metres. Notice that the units have now changed to metres. The question also asks us to determine both the frequency and then the energy. Starting with the frequency, we used a wave equation, rearranged, and so the speed of light which roughly equals 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 has units of meters per second. Divide this by the wavelength that we calculated in the previous part of the question, 1.28 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And again, plugging that into our calculator if you've got the same thing as me, it'll be 2.34 
to the power of times 10 to the power of 14 and this is seconds to the minus 1. This is the same as the units of Hertz. Finally, using the equation that we saw in tutorial number 2, E equals Planck's constant times the frequency. Sub the values in. Again, Planck's constant. You don't have to memorize these numbers. You might find that you, you do if you do enough practice questions. But these values will always be given to you in the exam. The other thing is that you have a formula sheet in the exam. So these formulas are also given to you. Sometimes people relax a bit too much because they think, well, the formula is given to you in the exam. But the reality is you need to know how to use the formula. And the best way to do that is to do as many practice questions as possible. So do the recommended uh, questions from your prescribed textbook and try and do as many past papers as possible. I'd say that's a pretty easy question, wouldn't you?